This is uh, 55, as you can see, west. I just left Taos, heading back home. What a great day today. Only little disappointment was not seeing any Amish in Mile, but hey, that's the way it goes. Love these open fields. For uh, the people that don't live up north, this is the main east-west highway off 75 that takes you over to the east side of uh, Michigan once you get up north around the 200 mile marker. Usually, uh, not in the winter so much because the deck angle is much lower, but heading west this time of day, you need sunglasses. It's just so bright, you're heading right into the sun as it's coming over and then getting low. A lot of wrecks here though. You got high speeds, 55, a lot of people speed, go in the opposite direction, two feet in between you. We should be going faster than 45, but I've gotten more patient as I've gotten older. They're probably scared. I guess that all comes with getting older. Look at those wide open fields. That old barn. You know, it's a shame the government doesn't give some kind of money to uh, restore old farm homesteads. That's a common sight. I mean, there are farmers, some that make money and they do get subsidies. But when you can't, when you don't want to stick money into a building that is part of your income, Keep it nice. Something's really wrong. Come on, you guys. Oh, thank God this guy's turning. Yeah, now let's put the pedal of the metal. You know, when I first started doing PI work early, there was an attorney up here, believe it or not. Uh, up around in West Branch. He died a long time ago, heroin overdose. And he used to specialize in personal injury accidents. And uh, I had a couple uh, fatalities. And you guys probably know this, but if you get off on the side of the road, like on a day like today, and you've got good tires, just go all the way off, stop, and then get back on. Because what happens is, as you get off in that front left tire, like in, or that front right tire, grabs that pavement where it's dry, and it swings the ass end around. And if you don't go off to the side of the road and roll, you'll go into the other lane when those that other tire comes on and grabs. You know, there's a snowmobile right there, but you don't see them like you used to. Not up north. This looks like a van load full of kids. You know, I never had kids, but if I did, unless I had to, I don't think I'd be driving out on roads like this. I mean, I don't give a shit. I'm single, no kids. But I think if I had responsibilities to raise other people, I might, might not be so cavalier. What causes a lot of these accidents on these roads with these high speeds is you'll pass a thousand of these side roads and you won't see anybody on them. 
Now I never looked up the law, but I know there's some law up here that exists where if you got a lot of snow, you can roll through a stop sign. So on a day like today where the visibility is down a little bit, the roads are slippery, let's say I decide to pass this van right here. Uh, all it takes is one guy in that left lane to come out of, you know, behind one of these tree stands, roll through that stop sign legally, and then I've got nowhere to go. So I rarely pass on days like today. Yeah, this is a scared driver in front of me. See, we got a new cell phone tower up here blinking. Daisy's riding shotgun. A good girl. You know, on a day like today, uh, your brakes will hurt you more than your accelerator will. Oh, thank you. Come on, Grammy, you don't need to be stopped to turn. Atta girl.